Party family, welcome back to my channel. So today for you guys, I have a Dollar Tree Christmas DIY video, and this is a sweet themed video, um, more so with gingerbread, but there were these little mugs that I bought recently and I really, really, really wanted to make fake whipped cream for them, so I'm going to show you all of the DIYs in this video. Hopefully, they are helpful to some of you guys or even just fun to look at. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 5,000 thumbs up, and don't worry, hopefully that won't be my only DIY this week because I know not everybody decorates with gingerbread, so I think I'm going to upload a glam Christmas tutorial this week. We will see. I can't promise anything. Anyways, with that being said, let's begin the video and find out how I made frosting, fake frosting. It is so cool. I want to begin with the gingerbread tear tray, which is just so adorable. From Dollar Tree, you want to pick up one of their cake and pie pans, as well as one of their little vases. It doesn't even have to be the little vase. You can also get candle holders. It's up to you. Now, I'm going to be painting all of these with this Craft Smart acrylic paint and taupe it's from michael's you can pretty much get any taupe color or any color that you like so once i have everything painted i'm going to create an icing effect by using caulk from dollar tree they carry them in different type of packaging there's the one that i'm using where i could just squeeze it right out of the packaging there's another one where you got to push at the end i prefer to get the one where it's just easy to squeeze out with your hand so what i do is i take my caulk and i try to mimic icing the caulk takes at least two hours to start drying so don't try to touch this thing right away give it at least two hours before gluing anything to that caulk um, but you know after 24 hours is gonna be fine you'll still feel a little squishiness to it but that doesn't mean it's not dry I started with the bottom pan and then I added my little vase to the middle before I glued it on. Then I attempted to put the caulk on that way. It wasn't a good idea. I recommend holding the vase sideways and then putting the caulk on because with it staying straight up like I was doing it, the caulk was kind of just running down. Sometimes I struggle when doing things like this because there's a light and camera st stand in front of me. So I have to awkwardly angle myself. Um, but more than likely you won't have that obscuring you. Anyways, once everything is done, I go ahead and attach the cake pans and the vase together to create the tear tray. I used Gorilla Glue. You want to use a heavy duty glue. Hot glue isn't going to cut it. If you use hot glue, you can only put really lightweight things inside of this. If you used hot glue and try to put anything at the top that is heavy, there's a good chance it's just going to snap apart on you because the hot glue just can't keep up with the weight that you might put on top. Next, I'm going to decorate this thing. I am using spice drops from Dollar Tree. Now, if you don't want to use real candy, you can go to Hobby Lobby. They carry spice drops ornaments for an inexpensive price, but I'm just using some Dollar Tree products. If you are sure that you're not going to attract some type of mice inside of your house looking for spice drops, you can do it this way. But if you're afraid, like I said, they carry fake candy ornaments you can get at like Hobby Lobby and Michaels. To act as candy dots, I'm using these red pearl stickers from Dollar Tree. You will have to cut each individual one off of the rows they're attached to. And then I'm just placing that on top of the tray. You can glue those stickers on if you want to because honestly, Dollar Tree, the pearl stickers, they don't have the best adhesive on the back of them. I just placed mine on. I thought it was going to be fine. It wasn't like I was going to be mishandling this. But if you're afraid it might come off, you can use hot glue to attach it. And that is how I made this really cute gingerbread tear tray. There's a bunch of different things you can add to this if you want to. I'm going to show you how I decorated the inside of the tear tray. The first thing I added was this gingerbread um, little like statue. I don't know what you want to call a figure that I got at Hobby Lobby. It was $11.99, but I got it half off. So it cost me around $6. Then I'm adding this gingerbread mug that I got at Dollar Tree. I'm going to be putting some fake whipped cream at the top and I'm going to teach you how to make that whipped cream in a moment. Next up I added this little house which is from the Target Bullseye Playground. It was three dollars. I placed some of those little stickers, the red ones, on top of that just because it reminded me of a gingerbread house. I got this cute little gingerbread ornament at Hobby Lobby. Half off it cost me two dollars and so I added that. I also got this little sweet box. I think it's so cute. This one was again from Hobby Lobby. It was originally $5.99 so I got this one for three dollars. Michaels carries really cute sweet picks in around Christmas time. I found this pretty little glittery um, donut one. So I took the pick off of it and placed that inside the tear tray. This was half off. So this one cost me $2. It was originally $3.99. 
from Dollar Tree, I got this milk glass and I added some candy canes that are also from Dollar Tree inside of this and then with the leftover candy canes, I just kind of scattered them around the tier tray. So that is it for what I placed inside of my tier tray. You don't have to do what I did and lots of the items, it was cheaper to buy it than it would have been if I was trying to make it from Dollar Tree products. So that's why I went with it. Like if I try to make the donut, for sure it would cost me more than two bucks. If I try to make the little house, it would cost me more than three dollars. So I'd rather just buy it if I could versus making it. Next up, I'm going to show you how to make fake whipped cream. It is so cute. Okay, now this, you know, you can say this isn't Christmas related, but you can add this to Christmas items and it just looks so adorable. So again, we're going to be using caulk. And you also want to get some type of icing bag and icing tip. Dollar Tree does carry this cake decorating kit so you don't end up using as much caulk you can get something to place in the middle of your fake whipped cream I'm going to be using these wood stems and then you also want to get some foam board so it depends what you want to put the fake icing in I'm going to be using some cups I'm going to be using one of the ones from Dollar Tree and then the little marshmallow looking ones they are from this brand called 80 degrees I see those cups all the time and I finally purchased them they are just so cute so what you do is you just take your cup you trace the top of the cup onto a piece of foam board and then you cut the foam board out. I always kind of overcut because I rather have too much icing hovering over a cup than too little where the little icing you made is just going to fall directly inside of the cup. So what you will now do is decide what type of icing tip you want to use. I wanted to use a little star looking one so I replaced the um, tip with the star looking tip and then you're going to take your caulk and you are going to squeeze it inside of your icing bag. You probably want to take a scissor and kind of remove some of the packaging of the caulk off to make it easier to squeeze bigger amounts inside of the icing bag now when it comes to the caulk I ended up trying to use the other caulk that I'm talking about that comes in like a tube and you have to push through the back that caulk is a little bit more liquidy than the one that comes in like the tube where you can just squeeze it with your hand without pushing the back so I recommend the one where you could squeeze it with your hand without pushing the back don't know if that makes sense anyways what you do is if you're gonna be using the tree stump you want to put some caulk to the bottom of it Place the tree stump down the center of your foam board and then start putting the caulk around like if you were, you know, icing something up. You just build it up and get the kind of shape that you like. So you can just keep building up that caulk to get the shape you want. If you're struggling or you don't have enough caulk, you can get a foam brush and just kind of slide the foam brush around your icing. And that way you can smear it in the shape that you want it to be as well as getting caulk in every area you want it to be just in case you don't have enough caulk. And I recommend getting at least two things of caulk, not just one. It takes about one and a half for each little fake whipped cream that I made but like one didn't do it for me I needed at least one and a half for each piece of fake whipped cream next up I'm gonna be adding some sprinkles I got these rainbow sprinkles from Dollar Tree and I sat there picking out all the red and green sprinkles so I could make some Christmassy looking whipped cream so once I had them picked out I went ahead and I just sprinkle it over the caulk I recommend waiting at least 24 hours before trying to remove the foam from the bottom of your fake whipped cream if you're making a bigger piece you probably want to wait longer than 24 hours it just depends how big it is just give it a slight push and you'll be able to tell like if it's dry enough or if it isn't so I noticed something when using the Dollar Tree brand icing tips they didn't work as well as these ones that Dollar Tree is carrying right now from Cake Boss. You can get these Cake Boss kits and they have bags inside of there as well as icing tips. So I made another fake cream using the icing tip from the Cake Boss kit and it was just so much better. It looked way better just the way that the caulk came out. It's just... If you can find it, I recommend using the Cake Boss one versus the Dollar Tree one. Even though the Dollar Tree one does get the job done done it's just the cake boss one look cleaner to me so i made two christmas looking fake whipped creams and then i made one with just all the sprinkles so a little bit more colorful and this one i made a little bit bigger and i decided to add a straw so dollar tree carries paper straws i was looking for a red one if i would have had a red one 
then I probably would have did another Christmas looking one but since I didn't I had a pink one I'm using these pink paper straws I cut it down and I add that to the fake whipped cream and it's just so stinking cute once the caulk is completely dry, you can remove the foam board from the bottom of your fake whipped cream and then add that on top of whatever cup, bowl, surface you want to. And this is just so adorable. Oh my gosh, I love the way that this looks. I want to make some colorful whipped cream, but I'll probably do that eventually and I'll probably film that as well. I really hope you guys enjoyed this DIY because this is something I haven't done on my channel before. Now moving on to this gingerbread sign. From Dollar Tree, you want to pick up one of their unfinished arrows. You'll find this in the crafting section. If you can't find it at Dollar Tree, Walmart carries it for like the same price. And I went ahead and I stained mine a dark walnut color from Minwax. Now I'm going to be taking these wood letters from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to be painting them white. I want to paint just the front of them white. The back that's going to be glued down, I'd rather not paint. It's better to have no paint there to attach it to another surface. These signs aren't big, so you can't put like a lot of letters. So I'm just putting gingerbread. So what I did is I took the letters and I placed them how I want it to be on top of the arrow before gluing them down. So I decided to put ginger on the top and bread at the bottom. I glued the bread part down first, but like I said, I placed it out first and then I glued it down. Hopefully Dollar Tree eventually gets bigger wood crafting items in. That'd be nice because a lot of their items right now are just on the smaller side. So after I have every letter glued down, I picked up this pack of pins. So they're like Christmas pins and there's a gingerbread inside of those. So I took the pin part off of the gingerbread. It's like a felt gingerbread and I glued that to the front of my arrow. I then go ahead and take some caulk and add little icing. There is a thing called puff paint you can use. You can get it at like craft stores. I didn't see it at Dollar Tree so that's why. I'm using the caulk for this. When it comes to the fake whipped cream, you want to use caulk. The puff paint, oh my gosh, that would take you 80 years and you'll need so much puff paint. So I wanted to make like a sign out of this, but I wanted to make it a little bit different than just putting it on like a ruler or a stick. So instead, I'm going to be using these crates. They carry them at Dollar Tree. I went ahead and stained one. I'm not showing myself staining these items because sometimes I feel like it's self-explanatory. The next item you'll need are rulers from Dollar Tree. They carry two wooden ones in a pack. You remove the sticker part and I stained mine again, but I'm actually using one that I stained previously. So there's some glue on one piece of it, but I'm reusing it from another DIY. Now I'm gluing the ruler to the crate that I just stained. And then I decided to make the ruler a little bit shorter. The length of the ruler is honestly up to your personal preference. Once I have the ruler cut, I go ahead and glue my sign to the ruler. And then you could decorate this however you want. You could use the felt pieces from Dollar Tree. You could go get ornaments. I got this one from Walmart. You could add little ball ornaments from Dollar Tree. It's pretty much up to you. I added some from Walmart, from Dollar Tree, and then I even put some little cookies inside of there because I thought it looked cute. I probably won't keep the cookies there unless I can find fake cookies though because I feel like a... If I love cookies out all the time, pepper, a rodent, or some bugs are going to get attracted to the cookies. So that was just for the time being, but hopefully I can find some fake cookies. So that is it for these adorable, sweet Dollar Tree DIYs. Oh my gosh, I love them all. They are just so adorable. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.